Hi friends, hunter, fisher, trapper, trader, guide, scout, and interpreter, and country cook Steve Hall. Back aboard the beautiful Miss Sheila houseboat where we're cruising and cooking again today. I love seafood and so does Sean, our cameraman. We got Tim over here. He likes all that rhubarb cake and all that kind of stuff. But Sean says, when are you going to make something on camera? So we can, because these camera guys, they eat after we're done cooking here. Some seafood, like a seafood something. I said, how about Fred's Seafood Surprise? Now Fred's my other neighbor out here at the marina. He's kind of the mayor of J-Doc, but Fred, he whips up this seafood surprise and he gave, gave me this recipe that has a little touch of this and a little touch of that. And let me start out and show you how it works. First of all, we're going to put in four cups of whole milk. This is not the time to use skim or 2%. Four cups of whole milk in there and two cups of heavy whipping cream. We want to thicken this up just a little bit and make it pretty rich. Okay. We're going to dump in something simple. I picked up a little bag the other day at the grocery store of salad shrimp. These little teeny guys. And that's neat because it kind of gets in every bite. But we're going to put that whole bag in there. I rinsed them off out of the bag, drained them, then put them in here. I like clam juice in my seafood surprise. So we got some fancy whole clams, but we're going to dump juice and all in there. Because that, that clam juice, in fact, you usually got to buy it in a separate bottle, but we're going to steal it out of this can here. Get that in there. Now we're going to put in some crab meat. Now, you, can, you can go with two or three cans of crab meat if you want. You can even use lobster meat if you've got some. We'll put that in there. We had some crawfish pie here the other day. You can chuck a few of them crawfish in there. Now I'm going to kind of, I'm going to kind of sneak around and do something here. I'm going to take some oysters over here. I'm going to put them in this blender because there's a couple of gals that won't eat oysters and I don't know why because they're delicious. I like them on the half shell or just raw. I'm going to dump them in here and they'll, they'll eat oysters too. You can get them to come over and have oysters too and they'll eat all, oh they love the flavor so they'll eat everything and leave a little pile of oysters in the bottom of the oyster stew. So I'm going to sneak them in this recipe and I'm going to blend them up just enough so they don't make a big chunk and then I'm going to pour them in here and they won't know that the oysters are in there because I love that flavor of oysters but I can't get them to eat oyster stew with the oysters in it. Oh man this is looking good. We'll stir this up so it's happening and you can always go with more and more seafood. You can put all the seafood in this that this will handle. I'm going to put in one complete quarter stick of butter. Like I said this is not the time to skimp. I'm going to pop this on the stove, but what Fred does to give it the old J-Doc zing is he puts in a little bit of ketchup, a little dab of ketchup in there, maybe about a quarter of a cup, and some hot sauce. We need some hot sauce. You want something hot? Oh. And some sauce. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> you know, smarty pants. All right, yeah, and we got some, I like Frank's uh, Red Hot Original. You can use any hot sauce you like. We're going to put in a little dash of that, maybe about oh tablespoon, tablespoon and a half in there. Get this happening, stir this in. Now we're going to put this on the stove and again like I said each bite see is full of shrimp, crab meat and you don't see any oysters in there. Don't even tell them they're in there and then when they get done they'll have already ate a whole bunch of oysters. They'll love the flavor. They just don't like those big slimy brown blobby type oysters in their oyster stew or in their seafood surprise. So let's trick them women and get them to eat some oyster stew by blending them up. Boy it gives a nice color to this too. Look at this. I gotta show this to Tim over here, other cameraman. Look at the color of this stuff. Just beautiful. Alright we want to melt our butter and heat everything up to a simmer. You don't really want to bring this to a boil and you want to heat it up slow because the butter will burn on the bottom of your pot but just put it on low to low medium heat and let it come up real slow with the lid on it until it gets just kind of piping hot. We're going to dish it up we're going to put some oyster crackers on it and I'll show you what that looks like in just a second. Be right back. And there you have Fred, the mayor of J Docs, seafood surprise. Now I got to tell you that looks pretty calm on the surface but there's a storm going on under here. Check this out. Look at all the seafood. Got your crab meat. It's got our shrimp in there. It's got our clams. 
butter and in our cream of course and milk and don't tell them that there's oysters in here because we blend it up and hid them just tell them ah it's seafood we're going to sprinkle a little bit of crackers on top here I had to make this bowl look nice and pretty too because Bob Licklider he does all of our photography work for our still pictures of course Jeanette's wife she helps out with all the prep food around here we wouldn't it just wouldn't happen without that you can ask any of the guys around here my little granddaughter Megan she was over here helping it's just with the crew like Sean and Tim and everybody this is really a pleasure each time I whip up one of these recipes but this one here is for Sean our cameraman you wanted seafood Sean there's a whole pot of it here we're gonna take a break in a second you'll get a chance to try this whip this up at your hunting camp throw some oyster crackers on top there Put all them goodies in there. Don't forget to blend the oysters so they don't know they're in there. Unless you guys are eating by yourself, then just chuck them in. But let me give this a try here. Mmm. Wow. That is beyond delicious. That is absolutely terrific. I'm telling you, you've got to try this at your hunting camp. It's a great warm-up in the middle of the day when the guy's been out driving deer and walking in the snow, heading back and forth their stand. Whip them up some of Fred's Seafood Surprise. And is it the most delicious little yummy seafood dish that you've ever had? If it ain't, it ought to be. This is Steve Hall saying, we'll see you next time. Mm. Wonderful. Hey, everybody. Thanks for watching Cooking with Shotgun Red. If you enjoy our recipes, become a subscriber to our cooking channel. And you'll be the first to know when a new recipe is posted. We'll see you next time. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button below. This is Shotgun Red saying thanks a lot.